this is Christian from ESC United, and I'm here with Tan and Ben. Yes. Hi. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you heard that so many times yes. oh, yeah. now. <laughs> exactly yeah. 22, 23 per, times in the song. Per, uh, yeah, per yeah. track, per, per, yeah, yeah. per play of the song, 22 times. Yeah. So, um, you come together now as a duo. Yeah. Have you been working together before? Uh, not, not as such. Uh, I mean, all the we, we were in last year's uh, season of X Factor 2019, um, and sort of like backstage, there was also like a handful of jam sessions going on. Like we we're both like huge Assyrian fans, so there was instantly that kind of connect over that. Um, so it was always jam sessions, but uh, singing as a duo was not something that like we had considered on our own until we were asked if it was something that we were interested in doing uh, by our wonderful manager Anders. So uh, yeah. And obviously there were some very talented people involved in that because picking us together, it was just, I mean, it was great. We we had a lot of fun uh, recording the song and apparently people like it, so... Oh, yeah. 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 Well, no matter how it goes here in Denmark on Saturday, just know that you have a lot of followers internationally as well. Thank you. And people are really liking your song. We got a lot of positive response to it. Oh, that's great. So, I mean, when you go on stage on Saturday, remember that as well. Yeah, we'll try to remember that. It's just, there's all the things that you're trying to tell yourself to remember when you go on stage and you're nervous, you don't remember it all. The second you get on stage, you don't remember it at all. Yeah. So, but I'll try to remember that part exactly. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's a very interesting question in a different interview, and it was whether we owed um, the experience or this this opportunity uh, to X Factor and sort of what came to mind there was uh, that like I owe a lot of the stuff to the people almost so like the people who voted me through to each of them I know it seems a little bit unrelated but like the reason I'm saying is that like every single we, every single thing we do every single concert that we give is always for other people so like the fact that people are out there supporting us and showing their love and support is really everything yeah. well the support is mutual I mean you do things that people like and people like it and they come back and say wow we love this so you can never be sure if people like what you're doing so the fact that they like it is just incredible and it's amazing yeah and you are actually one of the few here also that got voted through via the semi-final. Yeah. yeah. Was that nervous days for you or how was it during those voting days? Absolutely. I was a wreck the entire week. I have, there's a quote on, a, on the Danish DR website where it says that I, uh, it's a quote from me and it says, oh man, I've just been feeling so bad all week. I've, I've had a bad stomach ache and I've been drinking so much coffee. And, like, and that's true because I was so nervous and it was just horrible. I mean, we you, you, you can just never know. Yeah. You never know. And definitely uh, the day of was probably the worst when we found out because they, they decided to do it in the, like, mm, worst way possible. <laughs> so we were, we were sat... I think it was fun. It was fun, but it was also, like, I would have liked to have been a little bit prepared for it. What happened was we were sat in the studio and, like, uh, we were sort of listening to the DR radio. They were sort of giving announcements. And all of a sudden we they say... We were they were going to call us to yeah. tell us if we were through or not. Yeah. And all of a sudden we're like, we're now going to Vince this year's uh, contestants finalist for the Melody Grand Prix. All of a sudden we hear the door knock, which isn't that crazy. And you know, there's people walking in and out of studio yeah. sessions. So we were used to that. Up. But then all of a sudden I see somebody with a DR microphone come out to me and be like, hey, you just won and got through to my Grand Prix. How are you feeling right now? And my mind went completely blank. The only quote that they managed to get oh, uh, out of me was like a, a continuous solid like five minutes or something I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on this no yeah, no no okay sorry so uh yeah 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 so it was that was a that was a tough week definitely we, we were just not ready at all our no. reactions were not adequate at all yeah. we just no because it's the radio we're not used to being on the radio we're tv people <laughs> so it's so it's very awkward for someone to come in yeah. and like you won and it's just silent because we're like oh, yeah and like you can't hear anything of course yeah. so I had to say something so I just went oh my lord and yeah. then that's it <laughs> that was it yeah. it was, that was a little embarrassing that we didn't react no. more but it was just we were just in shock but there's a thing about being put on the spot about like yeah. any situation anyway yeah. Yeah, yeah it must have it must have been you must have been so happy when you knew that you actually oh, absolutely yeah. absolutely so, yeah it was it was amazing to, to get that like I was before that I was like okay if we don't go through it's fine it's, I'll, I'll survive I'll make music another way and now I mean, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to go yeah. all the way. I really like that. Because that that's changed my perspective completely. Mm-hmm. It's sort of in any kind of music you make. For me, it's always like if I prepare myself for the worst situation possible, I'm ready for anything. So I'm ready to, you know, if we don't get through it all, if people hate us, like you're always prepared for that. What that does, however, is that you're not prepared for what happens when people actually give you a positive response, which is uh, has been a really fun thing to uh, to figure out along the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last question is, um, would we hear more music from you two together in the future? 
It depends because there is uh, there are some things that we both have to do separately, like in our private lives. Mm -hmm. I have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with my life, <laughs> and <laughs> Benjamin has to figure out. Oh heck, sorry. And um, yeah, sorry. Benjamin has to figure out what he's gonna do with his career and education and all that. And I've already had those choices to make, yeah. so I've already made those choices, and he has to have the opportunity to do that mm -hmm. as well. So it yeah. depends. But I think regardless of what happens, a great singer like China is always only a phone call away. And it's so yeah, cool exactly. to sort of create this kind of network of amazing singers and guitarists. And just like creating a network of, of musicians is mm. probably one of the most beneficial things that you can have uh, in, your, in your arsenal of, uh, of music. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you for taking your time. And we thank wish you, you all the best you. for Saturday. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. We're so excited. Yeah. <laughs>